gonna take this Senko right here. I'm gonna take this knife, and I'm gonna cut that Senko in half. Now, some of you guys might call me crazy, but I just cut a Senko in half. A lot of anglers would throw this away. But you know what we're gonna do today? We're gonna take some good old Gorilla Glue and put it to work and see how effective it's gonna be out there in the real world. Watch this, don't blink, don't blink. All you have to do is just apply five seconds of pressure for these two pieces of a Senko to stick together. And voila, a perfectly good Senko. And as you can see here, we have a whole array of these items that I have super glued myself and we're gonna put them to the test today. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another episode. If you guys are new here, my name is Omar and welcome to Freshwater City. If you guys are new here, here at Freshwater City, we do epic challenges and tips on how to do videos and many other videos. So if you're new here, go down, hit that subscribe button, like the video, comment below the video in order to win comment of the day. This day is about to get underway. It is seven o'clock in the morning. We're gonna go, we're gonna hit these super glued Senkos, see if they're the real deal. We'll see you guys on the water. bird I've ever seen in my life. Oh my god. Alright guys, we have just made it to the beautiful, beautiful lake. Just, just look at that view right there. I mean, come on, that's pretty nice. If you guys are wondering about the conditions, just stormed last night. Low pressure system. These fish are going to be running crazy. Really not good top water conditions at all because as you could probably tell, it's super windy. So I don't know, I don't know what the move is. Maybe we could throw so maybe we could throw like a spinner bait or something. Let's just go ahead and take a look off this bridge. I don't see any signs of life, okay? Um, I've come to a conclusion. We're gonna throw a wacky, wacky rig because it's too windy. I'm trying to get under that surface. Let's go ahead and do that. So yeah guys, had to pause the editing process in order to get you guys some quality underwater footage because I mean, that is a very important part of today's episode. And no, I don't have a lake in my backyard. Went out to the lake here and now we're about to film this underwater footage for you guys. Okay, so I'm about to drop in the sinker right now and kaboom. Hopefully this water is actually clear. So. What I was trying to explain last time was, you see how this Senko, I super glued it in the middle of it. So as you can see, the uh, the action on it is just pretty pretty much perfect. Perfect action on it. Like you wouldn't see any difference. Nice wobbling action. Let's go ahead and make it horizontal for you guys. Oh, oh, ah, there it is. Nice wobbling action. Alright guys, so next up, this Senko, Green Pumpkin. Now, I don't know if you guys could tell, but if you guys look right here, I super glued it right here. So you see that part? That part is hard. Now, I was worried about this action not being that good. This, this side is going to be super stiff. So let's just go ahead and see how it looks right now. Okay, just dropped it in. Okay, and I don't know, I don't know if you guys could tell, but usually there's some wobbling action. And even when you jerk it up, there's not much action on the, especially the first third of the stick bait. Let's go ahead and make it sideways for you guys. There we go. So, not that much action at all. Kind of disappointing. So, if, because that, that tear happened because from a Texas rig. 
So I guess the only I guess the only way you could do this is if it was wacky rigged. I guess a text rig won't work because it's just gonna ruin all the uh, all the uh, action of the beat. Okay, guys, and the second to last one that I'm gonna show you is this one. It's also a green pumpkin yum dinger, and it's super glued in the middle. So I think the action on the sides should be spectacular. Let's go ahead and just drop this into the water real quick. There you go. Just dropped it in. And as you can see, it's, I don't, you, you just saw the other one just a second ago. So, I mean, you could compare it yourself. Oops, just kicked up a little bit of dust. But, I mean, you could compare it yourself. Uh, you could really decide if this is what you want to do for your soft plastics at home. And you guys are going to like this next one. And for this last one, I don't know if you guys could tell, but these are two different colors. One of them is Bomba Magic while the other is green pumpkin. If you ask me, it looks spectacular. And they even have two of the uh, the little slots in them. So I mean, this, this is pretty solid. And now we just dropped it in the water. Looks pretty good. I mean, you know, you know what that kind of reminds me of? Kind of reminds me of the green pumpkin with the chartreuse tail, uh, yum dingers. Cause it's not really a tail, but Kind of reminds me of that, and I think I think this could totally get bit on if the if the Senko bite is going. But I mean, when is the Senko bite not going? Hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. If so, make sure you go down, hit the like button, and go down and comment exactly how you feel about this video. I appreciate every single one of you guys' input. And now we're gonna go back home and finish editing this video. We'll see you there. Well, actually, you won't see me there. I'm gonna see you. You, you know what, never mind. Alright guys, have made it to the final location. Not much time left at all. Let's see if we can catch a fish. Okay guys, it is super windy out here. We got 30 mile per hour winds. Take a look at that screenshot right there from the Apple Weather app. Literally everything about today was perfect besides the wind. Literally the cloud cover was perfect. Literally the temperature was perfect. And then the pressure system was perfect because it just rained the night before. But I mean, we, we just couldn't do it today because of this wind. Now, especially when you're finesse fishing like I am with Sankos, super difficult to detect bites even if they come. But let me take a minute and give a shout out to Froggin Vlogging. They post some lit content more than two times a week. You guys should go check it out. Let me tell you, when I checked out their recent video and I had a blast. So, shout out to you Froggin Vlogging. Make sure every single one of you guys, after clicking off this video, you guys go down below and click the first link in the description to check out their YouTube channel. But I mean guys, the purpose of today's video was basically to look at the two different... Man, I really hope this windscreen isn't picking up all this wind. So the purpose of today's video was to really look at the idea of using super glue to super glue your soft plastics together. So what I did, I use Texas rigs a lot. I use wacky worms a lot. But the thing is, you guys already know that so the issue with soft plastics is sometimes they wear and tear and especially if you're yeeting a wacky rig, a wacky rig, <laughs> a wacky rig with a uh, with a bait caster, you already know how much you have to swing that thing in order to get it far. So I mean, just by that you could tear it up. Not to mention if you're just putting the hook through the actual bait and not with an o-ring that's going to be an issue also but i mean you guys don't have to take my word for for it i'm sure you guys have some ripped up soft plastics at home just take a bottle of super glue see what how you feel about that i really really hope you guys benefited from this video today i really hope you guys found some value in today's video if you guys haven't subscribed yet make sure you go down hit that subscribe button if and only if you enjoyed the video and you enjoy the content on Freshwater City. If you guys want to send me a message, let me know down below in the comments. I read all the comments, so make sure to contribute below. So that is going to wrap it up for today's hurricane video. I urge every, every one of you to go into your tackle box, look for some ripped up soft plastics, 
super glue them together, go try and catch some fish on them, and tell me down below in the comments how that went. Don't forget to check out Frog and Vlogging, because they have some awesome content. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks a lot for watching. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Stay fresh. I will see you on the next one.